Hello Taurus, this is your reading for the 3rd through the 4th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's see what's going on for you guys today. Please show me messages for Taurus and love for the 3rd through the 4th. Taurus. Five of Wands there. Hmm. You, you, you're wanting to come into conflict with someone, okay? You're wanting to find stability uh, surrounding your home, your life, your personal life, okay? You want to be heard, I feel, and you want to be in control of things. And then we have the Queen of Wands. I'm feeling that you guys are trying to get someone's attention here. Or somebody's trying to get your attention. Okay. This is somebody that's very confident. They're very confident in themselves. Um, I feel like, you know, this person may be a little intimidating at times. This is a fire energy. I feel Aries or Leo energy is present here. Then the Nine of Pentacles is there. Hmm. I feel you guys are very stable, um, and I feel like you, you're just trying to do your own thing. You're just trying to maintain, or either this is someone else here. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're stable energy. They're very confident. Um, they like for people to come to them. Okay, and I'm getting that somebody is actually waiting on you guys to come to them. Virgo energy there. And then the Three of Swords. I'm feeling that, you know, you guys are feeling kind of hurt in a situation. Okay. Um, disappointed in a situation. And I feel like this revolves around a fire energy. Um, maybe somebody that has air in their chart as well here. Uh, Libra. But um, for the most part, this person, I don't get that they're stubborn. I get that they are probably um, pretty secure in who they are and what they want and what they will and won't do. Okay. But what I'm getting is that, you know, you guys have been working and, um, and you're really just trying to, you know, mend this broken heart by throwing yourselves into work. Okay. Please show me more about the Five of Wands here for Taurus. Then we have the Knight of Wands there. I'm feeling that um, some of you guys want to be happy. You want to reunite, I feel like. You want to be with somebody um, if you've never been with this person before. But I'm getting that you have been with this person before because the Three of Swords is here. Feeling hurt and disappointed. Really not knowing what to do in regards to this individual. Okay. Um, not really knowing, you know, if you should like present something to this person. Offer something to this person so you guys can like come out of conflict. It's like you go back and forth about what to do here with the Knight of Wands energy. There's a lot of conflict um, currently going on within you guys, but I get you definitely are, you, you know what to do, it's just that you, I don't feel you being very comfortable um, doing it currently, okay? Let's see, please show me more about the Queen of Wands, and this may have been somebody too that, you know, has been in and out of your life. Um, somebody that uh, can get very angry, but I'm feeling this person is very confident in their abilities, whoever this is. The Queen of Wands, please. Hmm. And then we have the Four of Cups, but it came in reverse though. Okay. All of my other cards are upright, if you guys can see. <laughs> They're upright for me. But this card came in reverse, and it's the Four of Cups. Um, and the upright, of course, the Four of Cups is somebody that is very content with um, not doing anything at all. Okay? They're comfortable. 
they are comfortable not offering emotion. Okay, so I don't get that this person is comfortable, um, you know, just being alone. And I feel like this person would be accepting again if you guys came to them because they like for people to come to them. Okay, I don't know who this person is or why they feel this way. Maybe they feel like, you know, you guys are the ones that should come. I don't know. Only you guys know your situation is okay. But definitely, I feel like this person would be open. I don't feel like they will reject you. Um, but there again, you guys, I feel like would have to make the first move in this situation. Is how, you know, this individual is feeling here. Please show me more about the Nine of Pentacles. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. You're really not sure what to do. Okay. Um, this has really got you thrown off. This situation. And you're having a hard time, I feel, keeping things together, keeping it together in your head. Um, you're not sure how to get over this, how to get past this, this situation. Please show me more about the Three of Swords here. Please show me more about the Three of Swords. The Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away in this situation. Somebody walked away in this situation. But what I'm getting right now is that, <coughs> excuse me. A lot of you guys are thinking about the fond memories. The fond memories with this individual. Okay. Um, and, and you still have a lot of love for them. But I, I think where the conflict is coming in at is that you guys don't know if this person feels the same. And a lot of you, I feel, actually want to come back and, and maybe make an offer here in this situation. Okay. Let's see. I'm feeling strong. Aries, Pisces, Leo. Um, maybe Sagittarius is here. Cancer is here. Virgo is here. Capricorn. Okay. Let's see. What energy is coming towards Taurus? What energy is coming towards Taurus? What energy is coming towards Taurus? Queen of Cups. Going away though. Okay. Let's see. Okay. And then we have some cards that flipped over here. There's a lot of cards for the, the King of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and um, the Nine of Wands. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys these cards here. So if you can look at these cards the way that they came out. Okay. And you see the King of Wands. Well, sorry. <laughs> there is the King of Wands over here. The King of Wands here is basically looking back at you guys. They are actually waiting on you. You guys haven't decided for sure whether or not it's safe to approach this individual. Okay. I'm feeling that you guys, um, you definitely have changed, but there's something that you're wanting to complete here, I feel like, with this individual. Okay. You're wanting to go on. You're wanting to continue. But you're really not sure, you know, if it's safe to do so. Because, again, I'm getting that this person is is very, um, they're very confident in who they are, you know. And they're waiting on you guys, okay. I just saw the tower under the bottom of the day. There was a, um, definitely a breakup here. And I feel like, um, you know, your feelings are still out of whack with this, okay. Let's see. The Page of Cups. I feel like this person is, um, the more you guys are apart, the more they, well, the less they are invested in this, this situation that, you know, caused both of you, I feel, um, a lot of heartache. I'm feeling that this person's wanting to um, start over and invest elsewhere, you know, emotionally, okay? Because I'm getting that maybe you guys are not speaking at all, okay? Let's see what else we've got for you guys here. Three of Swords, falling under the Queen of Cups. Yeah, definitely, you guys are, are both 
probably feeling the same way for different reasons. And again, the Eight of Cups there. Mm -hmm. They are leaving this energy behind and wanting to start over, wanting to be happy, wanting to go towards that ninth cup, you know, their own personal um, happiness and fulfillment. Okay, guys. So again, we have Cancer, Pisces, um, Scorpio may be here. Aquarius is here. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, I feel strongly. All right. So I will be speaking with you guys soon.